What is AIDAS and why is it relevant to everyone? Well, AIDAS is uh, a regulation of the European Union and it has been in full effect since the end of September 2018. It is a regulation which means it does not require a national parliament approval in order to take effect. And the AIDAS regulation describes the requirements that need to be met in order to have legally binding digital documents that include electronic signatures. So, and what is it about? Well, ADAS uh, refers to electronic signatures, which is an umbrella term uh, that includes uh, one-time passwords, smart cards, cryptography, and biometric signatures. The content of the ADAS is to uh, define the various requirements and the legally binding effect of the digital product that meets these requirements. And the interesting part of ADAS is that if you look at articles 25 and 26, you will see that the handwritten signature is mentioned as the standard that the electronic signatures need to meet up to. So what do you mean when you say that handwritten signatures are used as a standard? Well, on Article uh, 25, the ADA states that the qualified electronic signature shall have the equivalent legal effect of a handwritten signature. So it takes, by default, the handwritten signature as the standard for uh, identification and authentication. And if we move further to Article 26, we see that the first three requirements for the advanced ele electronic signature are, uh, first of all, that it is uniquely linked to the signatory, that it is capable of identifying the signatory, and that it is created using electronic signature creation data that the signatory can, with a high level of confidence, use under his sole control. So we can uh, immediately understand that these three requirements are by default met by the electronic handwritten signature because they are characteristics of the traditional pen and paper handwritten signature. In contrast to that, other types of electronic signature uh, fall short in some or all of these uh, criteria. How do electronic handwritten signatures compare to other forms of electronic signatures? Well, being a forensic handwriting examiner, I would approach this from the forensic point of view, which means what happens in case of a dispute. In case of a dispute, the uh, evidence, the proof of the transaction in other forms of electronic uh, signatures, like one-time passwords or smart cards, rely outside the transaction itself, outside the evidence. In contrast to that, the electronic handwritten signature is on its own the evidence. So you don't need to rely to outside infrastructure that deal with the identification part of the equation. And most importantly, as with other biometric types of uh, data, there is no decoupling in the electronic handwritten signature. This is not true for other forms of electronic signatures that do not contain biometric data. They can be decoupled, which means they can be separated from the designated owner. What's the relevance of AIDAS for the consumer? Well, regardless of how you perform your digital transactions, be it at home or through a smartphone on the road, etc., you need to know that the actions you are performing have legally binding effects. Otherwise, they're pointless. That's where the AIDAS come in, providing the uh, requirements of the framework that will produce legally binding digital uh, files. You need your transactions and the digital uh, files that are produced from these transactions to withstand the forensic examination in court. 